Hi peeps, I just wanted to give a quick account to like a daydream uh, slash vision that I had um, one morning. Now this was um, after a night out, we've um, been out for a couple of drinks. Now before any of uh, the fanatical Christians get on here saying, you shouldn't drink, you know, Jesus did say, his word, it's not what goes in through your mouth that makes you unclean, but what comes out of it. Anyway, in the morning I was obviously a bit tired, but I had weird, strange back pains obviously around the kidneys area, and I, I don't, I've never had them and it was pretty hurting so drinking water and I had a bit of a lie in <clears throat> and then um, but what happened was I drifted away in a bit of a dream now first thing I remember is I was in this outside garden on obviously on a path I remember being in this um, garden and um, I just remember looking and in this garden it was obviously it, it went on for like it just looked like it went on forever and there was trees, there was lots of trees but they weren't right next to each other, they were kind of very dotted about. I remember looking down these trees to the left hand and I remember seeing like lions. I remember a lion and there was obviously other creatures as well but they were just roaming about and next thing you know, I don't remember walking up the path, next thing you know I'm in a city and I'm on a, like a city road and is a you know an, a normal uh, it's like a very street road I don't know if it was cobbly or anything and then there was like a, a, a very nice tidy about 10 12 foot wall and on the other side there was these mansions now I remember standing at the gate of one of these mansions and then next thing you know I'm at the door of one of these mansions and I remember looking and it was a lovely mansion it had a lovely little garden and I look at the door and it's this beautiful big wooden door and it was just laced with all these diamonds it was just all these diamonds and it's a bit like if you go to some places there's doors that are wooden but they've got iron studs in them and usually they paint them like black and they're just laced with them like that in rows well this was laced with them but with diamonds, beautiful diamonds and then here's the thing, I look back and I see the gate, oh, yeah, let's see come. And I see the gate like this, and then to the right of the gate, I see a man in obviously it looked like, looked like a lot like Jesus in a white robe when he was just standing there, and then he just blinked out and he just disappeared. And then I turn back to the door and I go in to the, through this door, and I walk into this obviously big um, hall area. And I remember a dog, I can't actually remember what the dog looked like, but I just remember a dog coming to me and then I was stroking the dog and then that, that was the dream over with. And, you know, I, I don't know what it means or whether it was real, but it was very clear. I've never had any dreams like that before. And here's the funny thing. I, well, it's, I don't know actually what it means. Obviously, does that mean that there's a mansion for me or... And it, does it mean that my dog will be in heaven? <laughs> you know, uh, you know what does that actually mean? I don't know. And then, <clears throat> the really, f the really funny thing is, this da this daydream must have been like five, ten minutes. You know, I must have dozed off into a light sleep, and it must have been five, ten, fifteen minutes. Let's call it. I woke up, no joke. God is my witness. You know, I swear. You know, it, it's. It's a sin to f swear falsely, but I swear on God's my witness that I woke up and the, the back pain, the kidney pains, had just gone. And I remember poking around a little bit, you know, oh, I can make him hurt a little bit, come on, give me something, you know. But I, I, was, I, was put, I was pushing my back and I could not feel any pain at all. It was just, the pain had just gone. And oh, I, pff, that shocked me. You know, I don't get many dreams or visions. I've only had like two, or let's say three. I had a week. Uh, oh, I'm not going to go into it anyway. But um, yeah, I don't get many dreams. Funny enough, but this dream is a very pleasant dream. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it means. Um, if you could leave a comment, it'd be great on what you think it means. But I'm not too sure. I just guess that it means that 
he's planning on if I stay holy and stay true and righteous to him he's planning on he's built me a mansion in heaven and my dog's gonna be there too <laughs> so hey if you haven't been saved all you need to do is confess to God that you are a sinner I'm not a sinner well if you're not a sinner God's a liar confess that you're a sinner I am a sinner I have done wrong God the Father please forgive me of my sins and I will forgive others for what they've for they've sinned against me and I pray in the precious name of your Son and Lord and King of Kings Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach you might want to remember that Hebrew name in the tribulation just in case the Antichrist takes up the name Jesus Christ I pray in Yeshua HaMashiach's name who come to earth and died on the cross so we could be forgiven of our sins and saved and be granted the key to eternal life Thank I always finish my prayer with I love you God the Father and I love you God the Son and I love you God the Holy Spirit Amen Take care all you. God bless, love you all have a great day and keep watching that clock. Keep keep your eyes to the skies. Because he is coming soon. He's coming. He's coming.